you uh, yeah. notice up on the front table here, yeah. so you have two containers of water and two cans of pop, soda if you're from the other end of the state. Anyone from Philadelphia? Very interesting. My very first year of teaching in Philadelphia, I, we, it was our first party day, and I asked the kids who wanted to pass out some pop. They just looked at it. They had no clue what they meant. So I learned right away. I had a little cultural barrier. All right. Um, one really important thing to learn from this, too, is remember, you're going to be short on supplies for all the subjects you teach. So rather than buying containers, one nice way to use containers in your classroom is just cut off some two-liter uh, pop bottles. The tops then make great funnels because there'll be other activities we're going to want the kids to pour, and uh, you can keep those for funnels. But I have two uh, containers of water here, a can of Diet Coke and regular Coke, and I want you to make a prediction about what will happen to these when I drop them in this water. Will they sink? Will they float? Um, or will they kind of suspend? You see? Regular. Are they open? Sank? No, they're closed. The diet floated. Now, kids will say, well, you didn't push that other one the whole end or didn't get enough water on the top. So I'll push it all the way under. <laughs> that's good because that, that proves that they're using their, their inquiry skills. You'll see it's still closed. By now, the kids know me. They, they think I'm tricking them with the liquid. They don't think they're with water so or that I've done something to the water. So just to show you that it is the cans we are looking at. <laughs> See that the diet still floats, the pop still sinks. So what's going on here? Why is this happening? They actually put chemicals in diet coke. Okay. Think about what the difference is. What the only variable that is different here between these two things is that this contains regular sugar. This one contains an artificial sweetener. Now think about that for a minute. If you've ever seen a package of artificial sweetener, there's not very much in it. Okay? It is very sweet compared to the amount of sugar you'd put on a bowl of cereal or something um, if you were using sugar. Does anyone know offhand how many teaspoons of dissolved sugar for a can of regular pop? And this is the same, this is true of Pepsi and Diet Pepsi. Okay, you're, you're close, you're, you're right in that range. Nine teaspoons of dissolved sugar in a 12 ounce can of pop. Now, let's visualize that. If we put 12, but nine scoops of sugar on a scale and we weighed it next to a little bit of that sweetener that's in that, you can see how much heavier it is. Okay, again, tie this discrepant event back to what we did with density before. Remember we had the two colored liquids? Okay, the lighter one floated, the less dense one floated, the heavier one sank. Well, what we can see here is that this is more dense, this is less dense, due to that amount of sugar, okay, than the water. Okay, so that's, that, that's a big enough difference to make that one sink in water and to make that one float in water. And again, you can use diet ginger ale and regular ginger ale, diet Pepsi, regular Pepsi. This is true of any of the uh, diet and uh, regular brands of any of these things. So not only does this tie into the physical sciences of properties of matter, density, but this also ties into what of those eight content standards? It's one we haven't talked a lot about yet. This is a perfect place for it. Jen? I guess professional Okay, yeah, the science and personal social perspectives this falls in that personal health category because if your family has a history of sugar diabetes or some other okay, um, dietary type of related illness, obviously you wouldn't want to drink three or four of these a day, right? There's a lot of extra sugar. Okay, on the other hand, what's the downside or the drawback to diet besides the taste? Once you get used to it, it really doesn't taste that bad. But actually, that tastes funny once you get used to it. Okay. If you've ever noticed, these things have chemicals that have been known to cause cancer in laboratory rats. Okay? Not in humans, but in rats. But if I had a history of cancer in my family, I would maybe consider twice drinking diet beverages. So there's pros and cons to both. Which is better, which depends on really family history and your personal preferences. Kids need to see that these decisions okay, are part of being a scientifically literate person. Okay? So see how we weave this in, tied it into density with our previous experiment and tied it into health. Um, I also mentioned another thing here. I said the only difference between these two things, or the only variable that is different, is okay, the sugar, right? Variables will be important. We're going to look at that in today's activity. Questions?